Hello, we're back. And now we're gonna make some dinner and I would show you what we're gonna make it in, but it's still in the oven. So you'll see that in a minute. We are gonna make a mushroom pot pie. We are gonna start, now I'm actually hungry for dinner. So we're gonna bulk it up a little. It's gonna be a mushroom hamburger lentil pot pie, but it's gonna be good. So here we start with our Power Chef, which we use many, many times in a week. I have one and a half cups of mushrooms and as much garlic as you like, okay? I just wanna tell you in our fridge smarts here, I've got our garlic all peeled and ready to go. Last time we had garlic, we kept it over three months. It was like, I think three months and two weeks. And then we didn't get rid of it because it went bad. We got rid of it because I finished the last cloves and then bought some new ones. Okay, back to our power chef. Okay, get a good close up. Watch this little buddy go. So we've got the cutting blade in there. And we're just chopping up the mushrooms and the garlic. Okay. Looks good to me. Doesn't it? Yeah. So, now the other thing we're going to use is the stack cooker. I haven't seen the stack cooker for a little while. Not that, you know, we still use it, but. So what I did was I did the ground beef. Remember stack cooker? Three quart casserole, one and three quarter quart casserole, a cover, which is either a cover or inverted and it becomes a casserole as well. But the one and three quarter quart casserole also comes with a colander. So I did the ground beef in here. It was actually still frozen. I did it for like three minutes, broke it up, and then did another two minutes and it's cooked perfectly. I'm going to put that in there, but here's the best part, just one sack. Oops. Yeah, you might want to scrape the bottom too. Yeah. Well, I don't want that stuff. Oh, okay. That's not, okay. I'm just going to take this over here. Okay. This is the best part about using this colander to do your hamburger. Look at that. We've just drained off any fat that the supermarket tried to sell us. Or the technical term is gunk. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of gunk. So, quickest, easiest way to do your burger with the lid on. It doesn't splatter anywhere. So we're going to put that. We're going to put in our shrooms and our garlic. Shrooms, I sound like I'm in high school again. <laughs> or a professional. <laughs> and I, I think shrooms are still illegal too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe they are. Okay, so we get those in there. I've got the lentils draining in our little strainer. So we're gonna put some of those in there. We make um, a shepherd's pie with lentils and mushrooms. And that's why I thought about bulking this up with the lentils in that because it's so good. I'll show you that recipe one day because it's yummy. So we're putting all those in, then we're putting in two tablespoons of butter. Where am I? See, this is a brand new recipe again. I told you this. Two tablespoons of butter. We're going to put in flour. Where's my flour? Two tablespoons of flour. I'm going to guesstimate because I forgot to get out my handy dandy tablespoon. And what do we keep the flour in, mom? In one of those things. <laughs> Modular mates. That's Keep right. Your food fresher, longer. Okay. Now, I pre-opened the can. We're just going to pop it off with our fantastic little um, can opener. We're going to put a couple of tablespoons in here. Okay. And what do you do now? You've got this whole thing of tomato paste right. you used, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do? You get these handy dandy little ice cube trays with covers. Alexa, turn off the timer. You put a tablespoon in each of these, you freeze it, and then you just use it when you need it. You so you pop not... out the number exactly. of cubes you need, yeah. And do you know how you get these right now, Mom? You just need to know somebody. <laughs> Better than that. Oh, have a party. okay. Right. Just like the Fridge Smart Minis. That's even more fun. Yeah. They are um, a hostess gift right now. So, Lovely. Exactly. So we've got that. We're going to put in some thyme. Oops. Again, you can tell my big exact measurements today. 
Here's a hint to remember forever when you're cooking. Mushrooms and thyme are miraculous together. So if you are making anything with mushrooms in it, a little bit of thyme in there as well, and it's gonna be super good. I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of oops, salt. Love our spice shakers. You can keep these spices smelling fresh for up to three years. Try doing that with the jars they come in from the supermarket. Those things do not seal airtight and you just lose the, because if you can't smell your spices, you also can't taste them. Okay, so that, and, oh, I forgot to get it out. I thought I had everything up. Sorry, guys. You never have everything up. I never have everything up. <laughs> That's why I'm not a TV show. <laughs> so they use half, watch out. They use half a cup of heavy cream. I don't like to use the heavy cream. I like to use fat-free evaporated milk instead. So we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna give it just a tiny bit more because I did definitely bulk up, you know, my what I was putting inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there we got that mixed up just a little bit. We are gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes. And then for another, ooh, 20 seconds. Two minutes and 20 seconds. So precise. Anyway, we'll come back after it's out of the microwave and show you what we've got. We're back. We've cooked this all together for two and a half minutes. I actually put it in for another minute just because I wanted to thicken everything up. And you can see we've got the silicone nine inch round form here. We've um, blind baked a bottom crust in here just for about 10 minutes at 350. And then we're just gonna put this right on top of it. And it doesn't make like a thick pie. I don't know what your family is like, but in my family, pie is like a meal in itself. <laughs> so this is more like sort of a, a nice little tart. I'm gonna put that on. Or are you calling it a little tart? I'm calling it a little tart. <laughs> Shush it around. It looks good. Okay, and then I'm just going to go get the top crust here. So, Mom, what's new? What's happening? Uh, not a whole lot. It's turned into a nice sunny day in our no. part of town, which is lovely. And it is quite beautiful, except I'm not a fan of winter anymore. It used to be when I was younger. <laughs> so I just have to tell you guys, my mom makes literally the world's best pie crust. Best pie crust I have ever eaten in my life. So wow. it's true. <laughs> but she doesn't pay me, so she's got a compliment. So I'll <laughs> keep coming back. <laughs> I love her pie crust so much. She makes a big batch and we keep it in the freezer. In our freezer mates. We so do. It doesn't yeah. <laughs> And yep. it's yummy. Just make them ball size. Yeah. For a one uh, piece of pastry each and take exactly. as many as we need, depending on what we're doing. And there we go. So I'm just going to put some air holes in here. I'm just going to use my plastic knife just in case, because you don't want to use metal in here and wreck it. And then we're going to put this back in the oven at 350 for another 20 minutes. We'll show you what it like. it's like when we pull it out of the oven, okay? Sounds good. Hello. So we've got the pie out of the oven. Now I have to tell you, Otis is like right there, <laughs> whining and sneezing, just to make sure that he, you know, I know he's there because he, this smells that good. Looks pretty good too, hey guys? Yeah, it looks really nice. We did try a little bite and it's freaking awesome, hey mom? Mm -hmm. Really yummy. The only Very change good. I would make is next time I would add a bit more tomato sauce just to bring out sort of that flavor. So this one is a keeper, you should make it. But let me show you something else. Now I'm gonna tell you how smart Tupperware is, okay? Have a nice look at this beautiful, it's called the round container. Some Sometimes the name doesn't quite live up to what it should be. But Tupperware plans their round and their rectangles um, really smartly. This round container fits perfectly anything that you would make in this nine inch silicone form. It also holds like a Costco um, um, pie because they make super mm -hmm. big ones. Right. If you bought a pizza, it would hold a pizza. You can probably layer a couple pizzas in here and freeze them really nice. 
So just so you know, there's lots of options for storing your stuff. This also is deep enough to hold muffins. And so you can freeze your muffins, freeze everything, airtight, liquid tight with the round seal. And that's where our pie is going. We're gonna slice it up, put it in the freezer, and then just have it as we wanted. Hope you've enjoyed that today. Talk to you soon. Bye. Yum. <laughs>